What's new in shortcut version 22.06.23? Let's find out in this video. There are three new things in this version of shortcut. The first one is to synchronize your audio to your video. All you have to do is to right click, go to M, go to align to reference track, and you can select the reference track to uh, reference. I'm going to select V1 and click process and apply and magically these clips are now aligned when i play this the sound will be totally in sync what's new in shortcut version okay if i mute this 22.06.23 this is how it sounds like the next one is a 2d animation software called glux Nimate, which is integrated with shortcut you can do things like this as well as create a mask like this okay let's head on over to this Glux Nimit software now this is a square mask which is nothing actually uh, you can actually just do a similar mask in a shortcut but let me just delete this and let's do something uh, different a nice shape like this all right Click on save, head back over to shortcut, select this, go and reload this and you can see now you have a very different uh, mask in a shortcut. Okay, so let me show you how it's done. The first thing to do is to go to open other, go to animation and click on Glux Nimate. You can set a time here, I'm going to set say 15 seconds and click on OK give it a name I'm just going to call this is demo number three click on save and pause this and shortcut will launch a glux limit okay let's head back over to shortcut and pause this I'm going to drag this on to the timeline and click on edit and when you head back over to glux limit you will see this and the software is actually interacting uh, together so first Let's add a star. I'm going to click on this star over here. There are some shapes that you can choose. For example, polygons. You can do square circles as well as well as uh, say a free hand. Okay. For simplicity, I'm just going to do a star. And there are two things to pay attention to. Number one is to make sure that you are creating it on a layer. Number two, uh, for a shape without a fill, you need to uh, not use a fill. In order to select color, you can come to the color wheel here and move this. Let's go with purple. Besides that, you can choose your style, whether how wide you want this line, and you can actually see uh, the line take this here. Okay, let's say we just select it, and let's come over here and draw this uh, shape. Okay, I'm just going to draw it somewhere here. This software allows you to animate the shape, which is this amazing thing. Okay, so let's put this star somewhere over my face and I'm going to move this use the plus button to move it okay and be watchful about this X here this is where the center point is so if you rotate this it's going to rotate based on this center point uh, I'm going to move this center point to my eye uh, next we're going to turn on keyframes keyframes work similar to keyframes in shortcut however they use a word called record Turn on recording, move your keyframes down, and uh, let's do the rotation thing. All right, and uh, this is what you will end up with. Okay, if you want to add other animation, you can add again and do this again for the sample I show you. I added two stars. Okay, let's head back over to a shortcut, and you need to click on reload and move your cursor. Sometimes the animation stops before that's why you don't see it over here so if you move it over here uh, the animation isn't there so you may need to move your cursor and there is your animation you can make changes to the animation by going back to Lux Nimate. next the mask let's add the mask I'm going to over to the playlist here and I'm going to drag this uh, clip of this uh, over the ocean I'm going to add a mask here go to filter go to add a mask use the max relax limit click on new I'm going to call this as mass 
tree. You may need to uh, put a, a name there, R-A-W-R. -R. So let's hit to Galaxini and let's go with the freehand mask. Now for the mask, I'm going to use a fill. Again, click on save. And you can also animate the mask as well. Turn off keyframes, click on save, go back to shortcut, click on reload. And you can see the mask change shape. I hope that this video has been helpful. Do give it a thumbs up and like this video so that it helps me with the algorithm. If you want to learn more about Shortcut, do consider my course. The link is in the description below. And also check out the next tip on Shortcut on the screen right now.